Hello, it's time to do a basic Instagram using HTML5 and CSS3. Okay, the first thing will be to look for the project here inside the project's link in the Breathcode platform. Here it is, simple Instagram photo feed. Click on view. And then go to the readme file. It says congratulations. If you're about to start this project, it means you already have enough knowledge to start doing interesting stuff. Deliver, deliver, deliver. From now on, you're going to be able, you're going to be treated as a developer and good developers are the ones that deliver. We're not going to give you stickers for effort, just like in real life, your performance is measured on productivity, period. Instructions. Using everything you have learned with HTML and CSS3, please create a website that replicates this picture. Let's open the picture. So this is what we need to do. It's a bunch of posts with images, just like Instagram. It's a minified version of Instagram. You can use the display property like in the old days or the new Flex CSS properties to make the feed of posts. Okay, so let's open Sublime and create a new folder. Let's call it Instagram. In Sublime, a uh, uh, folder is like a project, an entire project. Then inside of it, the first file you should create always is the index.html because remember that a website, if it doesn't specify what file to look for, it's going to be always the index. Let's open the entire folder so we can see the file structure inside. It's better than just opening a file. Here's the, the file structure. Now let's start coding it, and we're going to start with the doc type. I think if you start by saying HTML, it will complete also the doc type. Yeah, there it is. So the title will be Instagram feed. And for the body, we need to look what we're going to be building to make decisions. So what we're going to be building is here. Let's put it smaller and let's start making decisions. As you can see, it's a bunch of posts. So let's create a div post. Div class post. And let's close it. Then each post has inside another div that will be the header of the post. Another one that is going to be the image and another one that is going to be the description. So we have three boxes there. Then at the beginning you can see that there's like an app bar with the website title. So let's make that too. For that we can use the header tag that is the same as a div, but Google will interpret it like it's the first div of your website. And there we can inside include our title that it's gonna be Breath code photo feed. Okay, and then it's a it's a recommended thing or a best practice to always wrap all your entire content inside of a big div. So let, let's put all of that inside and here it is. Okay. We also need to add a styles.css, so styles.css that is going to contain all of our styles and we need to include the style tag for that, the link tag, I'm sorry, for that. The href, the, the link for the tag is going to be since it's a relative link and it's in the same folder, we just need to put the, same, the name of the style sheet like this, style. CSS. Let's make sure it works by creating a let's assign a blue background to the body and let's check out our project on Google Chrome. Open with Google Chrome and it's blue, you see, so the, the style sheet is working. So the next step will be to continue with our HTML. 
So we have one post inside the post. We should include then a title, as you can see here, and a date on the right, as you can see here. So let's add that. The title will be an H1, an H2, I'm sorry, because we already used the H1, and remember, you should only have one H1 on each website. It's going to be first photo. And then the date. For the date, we can use a P or a span. It doesn't really matter. Let's use a span. The span is a great tag because it doesn't apply any styles, any default behavior to, to your content. So you don't, you won't have to overwrite anything. It's just gonna be some a tag wrapping around your your date. So it's on the 12, 14. Then an image tag in the middle. Image. Let me. Let him help me. Image tags should be always closed. Everything should be always closed. Even if you see on the internet that the image tags are not being closed, you should close them because it's a good practice. And later when we use React, React will force us to do it. It will give us an error if we don't do it. For the image, we don't have this image, so we can use, I think there's Lorem Pixel. Lorem, yeah. Lorem Pixel is a service that gives you infinite amounts of images without you having to pick them. You just put a URL and it will replace the image on every refresh. So let's copy the link address, paste it here, and let's test if our image is working. I just saved the project. Now let's refresh here. I'm the only problem is that the service is a little bit slow. Here is our image. You see, and it's 400 and 200. It's 400 of width and then 200 of height. Because that's what we specify here in the URL. Now let's add some description. I think that's missing. Yeah. So let's say as a description, we can say this is my first photo of the feed. This is a multi line comment for testing per process. I am learning to code with with code. Okay, perfect. By the way, we need to wrap that. We should wrap wrap that into a p tag because it's a paragraph. It's a it's a piece of text. Let me close the p tag here. Okay. Let's see how it's looking. We're just waiting for the image to load. So while the image loads, okay, there it is. Let's start adding styles to, to this. Let's make the first part white. So it will be header, header, background, white. And then the body, it's going to have a background gray. You can put gray or any hexadecimal color like bd bd bd. Then we should make also the post. It has a class already, so it will be div dot post background white. And let's see how it's looking. Okay, it's looking better. To, to fix this great stuff, well, you can see that the entire body has like a margin on the right and on the left too. So to avoid that, what we're gonna do is to make the body margin zero. Let's refresh and see. Yeah, we don't have the, the white border anymore. Now to fix the problem with this gray area that is on top, of the h1 let's inspect it and it's gonna show us that it has a margin you see so we need to apply a margin we need to remove that margin so let's say that the h1 that is inside the header it's gonna have now margin 
zero. And if we refresh, it will probably work. Yeah, we don't have any more the the margin on the top or on the bottom. We still have this margin on the bottom, but it's not because of the H1. It's probably the post. Let's see. I think it's the H1, the H2. Yeah, here it is. It's this H2. But we don't bother. We, we don't care about this. I mean, we're supposed to have that space. As you can see here, there's a space. And this gray is lighter, so let's make it bitty, bitty, bitty. Now for the image, as you can see, the, the, the content is taking the entire website. So let's make this list of posts, because this div is going to be a list of... This is going to be repeated a lot of times, this div class post. So let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it into a big container. Class container. That way, we will be able to center it on our computer, on our website. Because now we can say that we want all the divs with a glass container to have a width of 600 pixels and a margin out. Now if we refresh, you will see that it's centered. Because basically, when you add a margin out to, to a div, let's make this bigger. When you add a margin out, you're saying that you want it centered on on the x axis, and then we're saying that we want 600, 600 pixels. If we remove the width, it is going to be centered. But since it, it takes the entire width, we don't see it centered. So we need to shrink it. Now we need to fix this image because it doesn't it's, it's not taking the entire width. So for that we can just do width 100 pixels to the image. So div post image and here we say that we want a width of 100%. Let's see. Let's wait for it to load. While it loads, let's also center the H1 here on the top because it's not aligned with the post. So we need to wrap it into the same container that we used before. But we don't want to wrap the header inside of it because the header has a white background. So if we wrap it inside, then the header will will have a great margin on the left and the right, and we don't want that great margin. So we're adding the container div inside the header to the H1. And then that's going to fix that. Yep, it was fixed. Now in the meantime, we need more space on top of the H1 and on, on below the H1. So we can add some padding to the header. Let's add some padding to the header here. Padding, let's say 10 pixels. And let's see how it looks. Yeah, it's looking better here. We need to do the same for this and for the description, for the post title and for the description. So let's do the same. It will be to every H2 inside post. So every H2 inside post. It's going to have a padding, 5 pixels, and also the text description, this one, it's a p tag, and I don't see any other p tags here, so we can use generic p tag as a selector. We can say that we want also that for all the p tags inside H2. If you want to use two selectors for the same rules, CSS rules, you can just separate it by comma and then open the curly bracket. Let's save and let's see if it works. Yeah, maybe the padding needs to be a little bit bigger. Let's let's need to make it 10 pixels too. And better. 
Now the date. What's happening with the date? We need to put it <clears throat> to the right of first photo. So for that we have two options. First photo is wrap it inside. You can see here that it's first photo is wrapped inside an H2. And the date is in a span. So we can float to the right the span. Or we can make a new div and inside add this h2 into that div then make another div for this one and we can tell this this first div to be to 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 move to the left and this one to move to the right with displaying line let's tell let's say, let's call this post header and we can tell post header like this we can say to to any div to any div or any element with the class post header inside post because this is the parent but to the first child yeah it will be like this to any div inside post header that at the same time is a child of post then we can say um, display inline block and let's add a, a background color because I want to make sure that I'm doing it right so let's say that it's a background green and let's refresh yeah we just selected first photo you see but let's apply a, a width of, I don't know, 80% of the patent. 80%. Now this 20% will be for the date. So we have to select the same thing. But instead of first child, let's make it last child. And it's going to be 20% and let's make it yellow. still not fitting here you see it's because the padding ad adds up to the entire width of the div so we need to fix that natural behavior that is always a problem for that I'm gonna search for it so padding with padding size problem you have to prevent the padding from adding up to the entire width of the element because paddings work like that by default so let's copy this box sizing border box and let's apply it to all the website divs entirely let's say to all divs in the website I don't want you guys to have any problem with the paddings anymore and let's refresh and still you can see that it doesn't fit let me shrink it to 18% to see if it works yeah it works but it now has some white stuff let's see what's happening here let's inspect so basically when they when it was 20% it was not fitting because what 90 now 20 With 20, it doesn't fit, but with 90, it does. Uh, I think I know what's happening. It's because another bug that happens is that you have to put them together because the space that they have between each other, it also takes some space. So let's put them together so it, there's no space in between them. And now let's try. But we need to try with 20% again. So 20% enter. Now it fits, you see? So let's go back and put the real 20% because whatever changes we do here in the inspector, they don't apply to the real source code. It's just something that happens. Um, and when we refresh, it loses whatever changes we did. So here it's now 20% again. Perfect. Now it should work. Let's remove the the green background and the yellow one
and refresh again it's looking better now there's like too much padding here how, how do we fix that is padding the problem let me see no it's not padding yeah it, it's margin let's say that we don't want any margin to margin yeah, we don't want any margin anymore to, to those the P's and the H2's. Let's refresh. Looking better. Now every post should have a margin top because now this margin that was on top is being removed and we want to separate from the title of the website. So margin top Ten pixels. And now we have our post. The only thing we're missing is that this text should be more to the right. So let's say that it's going to be text align right. Let's refresh. Now it's too much to write, you see? So let's add a padding to this particular last child. The same padding that the other one has, right? Oh, the other one doesn't have a padding because the H1... The H2 has a padding too, uh, already, so we don't need a padding on this one. But this one doesn't have a padding. So let's add a padding to it. And now it's separated from the border. What are we... What else are we missing? No, I think that's pretty much it. Ah, well, no, this should be lighter. So let's make the color color. Let's say gray to see how it looks. Yeah, there it is. It's lighter. And maybe the breathe, the breathe code hashtag, it's bold, you see? So let's make that two. Let's go to the hashtag breathe code here. Yep, let's wrap it into a span because we know the spans. No, actually we can just wrap it into a strong tag and that's it. Strong. And this one we can remove and add a strong here, strong, well not add it, close it, here it is, now we refresh, and it's now bold, you see, now the only thing I think we should be missing is adding more posts, so let me collapse this post here, so it doesn't bother us anymore, and we can duplicate this line these several lines when they are collapsed so we have several posts at the same time one two three four so I just added four posts by duplicating them and if I refresh we'll have all of them and all you have to do now is to replace the the titles and the descriptions but in general we have our Instagram photo feed done